Good afternoon, my name is Warren Beach. I'm the CEO of Beach Feldman, a law firm specialising in the mining natural resources sector. Uh, no question at all that the last two to three years have been absolutely chaotic with the pandemic and followed by the energy crisis and related constraints for supply chain. Uh, and put that together with, with a very important thing and the fact that Africa has got so many reserves of battery minerals and Africa is in an absolutely perfect position and again perfectly positioned to take care to take full advantage of the, the boom around the battery minerals and the demand for those battery minerals. Africa is a good space to be in at the moment. It's in a good space because it has all of these advantages and for 2023-2024 there's going to be a strong focus on growth and development in Africa. There are, of course, a number of challenges of doing business in, in Africa at the moment, and some of those are historical and some of those are fairly recent. Certain challenges are not going to go away. So challenges like infrastructure constraints, energy, uh, politics, security, concerns around safety, all of those challenges are going to remain. But that doesn't stop Africa from benefiting from a new boom on the battery minerals. And to get around those challenges, it's going to require both countries themselves to look at their policies and procedures and laws to try and make it easier to do business, but more importantly, to work together so that infrastructure can be developed collectively. And always, the question always turns to which countries are going to be the focus in 2023 and 2024. My three top picks, starting with South Africa, and a year or so ago, I probably wouldn't have put South Africa in there, but at the moment it is, um, we're at a crossroads. The, the, the South African mining industry is at a crossroads. There's a level of positivity uh, at this year's mining in which is different to the positivity of, of the previous years. Uh, we've shifted from a government must do certain things to a situation where the private sector acknowledges that government is not going to do it and that the private sector needs to take charge and actually do that and it's a different positivity. Um, second country is the DRC. The DRC is certainly doing incredibly well in attracting investment across the sector from beneficiation and local beneficiation through to infrastructure development and ironically a lot of that funding is coming from South Africa. So that is, that is my second country. Third country is Zambia. I think that Zambia is in a perfect position again. Uh, it's had a, a long history of nationalization, privatization, re restructuring its ownership uh, and, and particularly the mines or around the mines. But uh, 2023 for Zambia I think is going to be a good year.